This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about the next match. It's Randy Savage and Dusty Rhodes. Randy's going to get the win by count out in eight minutes and 18 seconds. Meltzer would say the match, which was awful. And he puts in parentheses, but needed to be because a good match would have diverted attention from the ringside angle was the backdrop for the angle. Dusty Rhodes looked even worse. If that's possible, Savage was good when he was doing something, but most of the time it seemed like he was simply trying to make sure nobody watched the match. Dustin Rhodes was sitting at ringside and Ted DiBiase and Virgil paid all the front row fans a hundred dollars to leave. And Meltzer said, I was told this was a shoot, which made me laugh. Uh, they tried what a fucking <laughs> idiot. God, they tried to pay Dustin, but he wouldn't move. They wound up brawling and throwing him into the ring. If it area. were a shoot, if it were a shoot and you offered Dustin a hundred dollars back then, he would have taken it. Of course. But he means the fans that the fans would forfeit their $20 ringside seat for a hundred bucks for a match. Well, here's the thing. They tried to pay Dustin, but he wouldn't move. They wound up brawling, throwing him inside the ringside area, inside the guardrail quote, DiBiase potato Dustin with a chair and he juiced the camera showed the juice generally from far away shots and no close ups. neither McMahon nor Piper ever acknowledged the blood, which wasn't quote unquote, supposed to be part of the angle. To clarify and correct what has been written here regarding NBC's policy on juice, the network has no policy. I lied. It is McMahon's personal philosophy on wrestling to minimize blood because he doesn't feel it gets the right effect anymore and works as a detriment to the family detriment to the family audience he aims at. I had been told there was a problem with actually blading, but not with the blood itself, and that if the blood came from a legit wound, there is no problem. Anyway, in this case, there is no problem at all with NBC over the blood being on TV, but there will be no graphic shots of it either. Charitably, I'd give this match a star and three quarters because they shouldn't have had a good match because of what was supposed to be accomplished. But listen, this is kind of cool to see a very young Dustin Rhodes sitting ringside and Roddy Piper can't help himself on commentary. And he says, oh, that's Dusty's son, Dustin. I can tell because they both got blonde hair, which tickled me. And there's a great line on commentary when Dusty's coming out, <laughs> Roddy starts putting him over saying, oh, and I know you love this guy because you love them polka dots. And Vince says, what can I say? I love polka dots right in the middle of the show. I don't know. Considering how much we talked about this at the beginning of something to wrestle four years ago, that just tickled me. You saw this one for the first time in a long time. It's a pretty memorable angle. You see Dusty rolling around crying with Dustin. Uh, we know that Dusty's not long for this world. He's headed out of town very, very soon, but it had to be kind of cool for Dusty to work with his son here, right? Dusty was in heaven. Yeah, th this was, this was a big deal and especially to be able to do it on national television on NBC. So it was, yes, Dusty had done some things with Dustin before and they're, I don't think it was turnbuckle pro it was Florida championship wrestling before that, that Dusty had and Dream was excited. Dream was absolutely excited and happy as shit that he could do something and that Dustin would get this opportunity. So it was pretty cool. As a matter of fact, you know, all these years looking back and seeing this young Dustin Rhodes sitting there and doing it with DiBiase too, for me, just from personal feelings, I love Teddy and I love Dusty. There was a little heat and animosity with them in the beginning but everybody got through it and it was all cool. And they became really, really good friends. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.